Hey guys, this is sb 2 boys 10 here, back with a new video. Now yesterday, I beat The Last of Us Part 2, and I will do an in-depth review of the game one day, but today I want to have a spoiler-free discussion about the game and what I thought of it, just for people who haven't played the game yet or are indecisive about doing so due to the reviews, or people that have played the game and haven't beaten it yet, because I know the game is very long. Now, did I think the game was bad? No, I genuinely thought the game was pretty good at what it was trying to tell and do. The game is visually beautiful, and filled my eyes a few times thinking it was real life. And from someone that has played realistic games for years, like with Beyond Two Souls and Detroit Become Human and all that, that's a major accomplishment on their part. Do I think it deserves the hate it got? No, not at all. Definitely not. It is a shame that the game, got, the plot got leaked. And I hate that it happened because people just started bashing the game just based on this one plot point and the voice actress for one of the characters and the director got a bunch of hate messages and hate tweets and d bad DMs and all that and that's they don't deserve all that the voice actresses was just doing their job and they were doing it amazingly it was amazing how great the acting was but like they don't deserve that although you can dislike a certain thing they don't deserve the hate that they got and neither does the entire game in general because there's still great things about the game the story has a few or even many elements in it that people will not and do not like but in no way does it deserve the backlash it got only because it chose to take the story in the path it did now i didn't think the game was amazing visually yes musically yes acting motion capture gameplay wise yes however the story itself has many problems or things that i didn't like too much for me to praise it beyond repair that doesn't mean it was a bad story, just very good story, but pretty problematic in a few places. If you're into Game of Thrones or The Walking Dead, you'll like The Last of Us. It's brutal. Both games are. They're violent and don't hold anything back. And you need to appreciate the game for what it is and respect the developers for even trying something like this. It's divisive for sure, and I definitely recommend the entire series, including Part 2, to have your own opinion before you let reviews and numbers get to you. I personally think the game is great with flaws. I would play it multiple times despite how long it is. The story can be great if you think deeply upon it and not take it at face value and hate it for some of its choices. You'd have fun with most of the gameplay aspects and if you're into stealth that would be even better. I would say that there are dogs that you have to kill in the game. That's not really a spoiler the creators have said in a gameplay showcase or two that you have to kill dogs. So if you're not into that maybe think deeply about it and how it'll affect you before you go into this game. As someone who is a dog lover or an animal lover just in general, I'm fine with that type of violence because it's a video game, and although it's very realistic, it's not real. So that disconnect from reality helps me get through the violence as well as the environment and atmosphere the universe in the game has. But if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff, I completely understand. For me personally, I can't handle movie violence. I even walked out on the violent part of the Hunger Games. But games I'm fine with. I've played many games that creators have died in such violent ways like Until Dawn and The Last of Us. And I just am completely fine with it. Some of it I'm like extremely phased by. But otherwise I wouldn't straight up get up and leave. I would keep playing the game and I wouldn't... Violence wouldn't be a turn off for me. But overall the game isn't bad. The game isn't as bad as people say it is. The game is actually really great in a lot of aspects. And if you don't like the story, that's fine. Um, if anything, you could just skip the cutscenes and just play the game just for the gameplay. Although it's a story-driven game, at the end of the day, you can play the game however you want. And you could skip the story altogether. The story isn't horrible. The story isn't the worst story known to man. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Um, it's very divisive. But... If you think deeply upon it and you don't hate it for what it does sometimes, like I said before, you will enjoy this game. And personally, I did enjoy this game. There was a couple parts of the game that I genuinely didn't like. There was a couple parts of the game that gave me a really bad feeling. But I thought it was a really good game overall. And it was one of those games where, like, there was parts of the game where I wished it would just get on over with because it can drag on in some parts. But otherwise, I did have a good time. 
And now I play the game on hard mode, which is bad for me because I'm not the best at those type of games. So I had a little bit of a struggle with the difficulty. However, it wasn't too bad to the point where I wanted to throw my controller. It wasn't ragey. It was just a little bit of an annoyance because, you know, I have a harder difficulty. It's kind of my fault. I always thought that since I played the first game, I could handle the second game, but that kind of wasn't the case because they had new aspects in the second game. But the new gameplay mechanics, if you played the first game, they have new gameplay mechanics in the second game, like going prone and dodging enemy attacks. Those are really useful. Those are really great. And if you are good with patterns for certain bosses or certain enemies, you will have a good time with this game. Because there's a couple enemies or a couple bosses that do a couple swings and you dodge them and then you start attacking them. If you recognize that type of pattern, you'll be pretty fine. Now, again, the game is beautiful. The game is visually beautiful. There is a couple parts of the game where it's pretty low res, but that's based on a loading issue. And there is a couple glitches in the game. Um, I've encountered a few of them here or there, and I've actually done a lot of out-of-bounds glitches for the game. So one day I will do a glitchy paradise in The Last of Us Part 2. But the game can be pretty glitchy at times, and I see a couple clips online where some people get stuck on certain areas. But I am pretty sure stuff like that is patched out. So the game isn't perfect, and I've... That point, I've always said all the time, even from my Glitchy Paradise trailer, my opening, I say that nothing in the world is perfect, and that includes video games, and that includes this game. The game is amazing. The gameplay is amazing. There's many parts of the game that is amazing. The story can be good depending on who you are. I personally didn't absolutely hate the story. I didn't think it deserves a mob, or a raid, or pitchforks towards I didn't like some of the parts like I said but it's not something to want to give it a, a huge horrible review like it's not a 1 out of 10 game it's more like a 7 8 maybe 9 out of 10 game I would say about 8 8.5 but yeah that's pretty much my general discussion of the game uh, I will like I said I will do an in-depth review one day and I hope you guys look forward to that. Uh, in my channel description in the about, I did say that I do have reviews on my channel, but I haven't posted a single review. So I think the first review would be great to have The Last of Us Part 2 because it's pretty divisive and controversial. So it would be great to have my opinion out there so that people would have more opinions to go to and be like, hey, is it good or not? Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. If you sneeze in the video, bless you. If you had a bad day, hope to cheat you up in some way. And yeah, see ya.